Well, good morning, praise the Lord. It is great to be here. And today I'm going to dive right into the world of how do you choose a Bible. I want to dive in and share a lot of things with you today because the one thing that you need to have in your preps, in your arsenal, in your home is a Bible. Now there's a war against the Word of God. We already know this. And so what kind of Bible do you get? Where do you start from? What do you need? What type is this? Which version? All of those things I'm going to tackle today. Now I am going to tell you this. This is the most important thing. The Bible to get is the one you're going to read. And so many people get stuck with this version or that version. Do I get a King James? Do I get a new King James? Do I get an ESV? Do I get an NIV? Do I get an NLV? Do I get a message Bible? Do I get an amplified Bible? Get the one you're going to read. And you may find that you get one. And then as you grow, you get a different one. And that's perfectly fine. What I'm going to go through today, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, about 22 Bibles that I'm going to briefly go through some things with you so you can maybe be inspired. And this isn't the full collection, but I don't want to drag this on for two hours because you probably would get bored. But, but within the element of these things, I want to just give you some inspiration, some direction, and some ideas on how to go forward. So today I'm going to start off here with, with the study Bible. Now, this is actually the first Bible that I was given, and this was, this was um, for my birthday in the 90s. And I'm giving you this Bible for your birthday because the Word of God is a secret to life. And this was from a cousin of mine. This is a King James. And one of the things that I find with my Bibles is they tend to have this little situation here. This one also has it here. And so do some others, which I'll touch upon that in, in a few minutes. But you can kind of see that it's glued. And as the glue comes loose, then we have this situation. But this is a study Bible. Now, what a study Bible has is a lot of times a topical index. It will give you instructions in the beginning of how to read through the Bible, what the elements of it are. And this particular Bible, well, um, used to have more tabs than it does, but I don't I, this was the Bible that I was given, and then like most heathens, I received it and went to the bar. So um, it didn't get its use until much later, but still is not, you would think that it might be my go-to, but it really, it's just I have others that I like more. But it has the historical information in the beginning, and then this one does have, as I said, tabs or would-be tabs, and then also some images. Okay, so within the study Bible, you will find that there's a lot of more information, historical information, the maps, some things are in colors, there's some charts. Okay, so I'll give you an example of that within a, um, another, another study Bible. Now this one here is leather, where this one is a hardback. Difference in size, okay, which is okay. Difference in the type of tabs. Um, this one has a bookmark. Okay, so this Bible, in all actuality, would cost more than this particular Bible because it's leather and has a bookmark. This is just a hardback. Still has all the tabs that came with it. Okay, and and so when we open it up, there's, there's, it's nice in the print with the color and the paper is very nice here. And then when this one also has, and I don't know exactly what page that it's on, but it gives you the instructions of how to study Okay, and also some things with this, let me see here, it has the, um, well, here's a topical index that makes it easy to find certain subjects that you may want to dive into. It also has all of the um, prophecies, or not prophecies, but all of the parables that Christ taught and it's all outlined very easy in a table to read now this one also has the color maps 
So the color maps are nice in that you can browse through and you can see the journeys of Paul, you can see the, ta the land, and it gives a lot of information in the legends of the map. So this, this other one here does not have that, whereas this one does. This one is also a New King James. This one was a King James. No, both are New King James. But you start to see just a few differences here in, in just the size. Okay, so sizes, size matters. Okay, so we're looking at just this here, these two Bibles, as a study Bible. This, this is just the full Bible, not a specific not a specific study Bible, but I will give you some others to give you ideas, okay? So this here, again, this is a leather Bible. This is a prophecy Bible. Now, a study Bible, okay, and this, and this Bible, what it has that's really cool about this Bible is that it gives me the, the, um, the explanations, okay? And in this one, it's really cool because the explanations we have the prophetic subjects are in blue the holy spirit is in is in a dark green salvation is in red and then temporal blessings are in a light green so what that looks like on the page is something like this so when you have your little legend and you remember that, okay, salvation is red, this is blue, this is dark green, you can, you can see all of the scripture that are highlighted, which makes it really easy to find whatever that subject is that you're studying. So this was a really cool find. I got this for $2 at the Half Price Books Clearance Sale, and then it also has all the prophecies fulfilled in Christ. And this is the Old Testament ones. So this here is a great prophecy Bible that's a study Bible on a specific on a specific subject. And each Bible that I buy, I, I'm in a different season when I have each one. And and so I like I'll go through a season where I have one that I really like and then and then we'll move to um, another one depending upon the season that I'm in. With with these, the paper, the, the paper is um, pretty thick or pretty thin on on this one as well as um, this one here, which is okay. I'll show you the difference in another in another one of my Bibles in just a couple minutes. But you see also here this one has the predictions about the promised Messiah and all of the all of the things therein. So very, very cool just a, just another type of study Bible. Um, another study Bible that I have, and I used to have this in a large print, but I gave it to a ministry partner, but this is the condensed version of it. And this one here, a really nice Bible. This one probably, if you were to pay full price, would be 129 to maybe up to 179 depending upon where you are. Again, half price books has served me well. This particular one is a King James um, Holman study Bible. And, and what I like about this is that, and I don't really often fill in all this information, but it has the presented to, so if you give it as a gift, you have that information there, certificate of marriage, okay, not a marriage certificate, two different things, and then all the births and um, marriages, occasions to remember, and then deaths are also in there. This also has, you'll see in all the Bibles I have, that it has... This information here, which is all your publisher's information. What's interesting to note is that the new, the Luke G Trump approved Lee Greenwood Bible has none of this. So you'd, it's, it's only uh, printed in China. It has no information other than that. So essentially what they did was they just took a printed copy of the Bible, stuck it in the binding, stuck the Constitution, the Federalist Papers, and and uh, the next document in, in, the, uh, in the back of it, and that's it. For 60 bucks, we could do better. Okay, so I didn't choose to add that in the collection because I read enough and listened to enough reviews that... I already have enough to work with that I think is better quality for $60 that's much, much, much better than that. So that's kind of just a reader's Bible, which I'll cover that in a few minutes, but or a text Bible as they may call it. So most of your Bibles are going to have this information. So this information is who published it, where it was published, and it, and it will give the, the information about 
the publisher about the styles of black and tan so this one comes in numerous numerous options now this here being a a study bible again has what i like about this is is it has the the colors it's very nice print the size is easy to read and it's it has a lot of information throughout the word that gives you the information at the bottom okay notice you have two columns here and then you have the footnotes that have a lot more information at the bottom that will reference other information that will help you to grasp some references in the bible this means that that means that this was proper in that day so on and so forth so this is a full study study king james bible and what i like too is that they separated the old testament from the new testament and they chose the red lettering what's interesting about the red lettering is that red letter bibles typically do cost more because it costs more to have the red print or the red ink but it was in 1899 that that was the first time that the bible was printed with the red with the red ink then in 1901 they added the red ink to the new testament so that's why you might see a different price in the bibles but that goes back to eight to 1901 where you could get the bible that has the red letter the red letter of the words of christ and the reason why they chose the red was out of the book of luke chapter 220 which references the blood so the red letter represents the blood of christ and salvation throughout the word so kind of cool when you really start to see what is all throughout the word and and how they created that so you'll also see other things here at the bottom that are just more study footnotes now another study bible that that i have here and this just gets into um other elements of how people have created this particular one this is a scriptural promise for the rainbow study bible we know that the rainbow belongs to god and so this one already comes pre-colored which i used to have a set of crayons 108 crayons many years ago because i was color had my own coloring system with with one of my bibles that made it easy for me except then i started getting too many colors and then i had to remember it all and and so then i found this bible which did it all for me but there's something about getting in the word and writing in the word that that is a good thing i don't really i don't have at bible apps I don't want them. I don't want it on my phone. I just have Bibles and I can write in them. I've got a, a note taking system that I use and this is just easy. Okay. This one does not have tabs. I could buy tabs, but um, I've not. A couple other studies that I will go through. This was just a Morris Cerullo uh, financial Bible and there's a lot of truths in this one. So the, in this one here, of course there would be because it's the Bible, right? We get that. But one of the things that was kind of cool about this particular study Bible is that it has the faith declarations. Again, a two column Bible. This is a King James and and it's I really like the feel of this Bible. It has a bookmark. Um, this one here actually comes with two. So that's kind of a nice feature. This one weighs. I mean, you can see the difference here. The smaller the, the, the Bible in a study Bible, it's going to weigh more. But I'll show you my one that weighs the most in a few minutes. But then we have this one here. This was just um it was a pastor that had this one on his desk and i started i'm like what is that bible i've never seen that one i must have it and and so um it comes in with with some prophetic words and and it has i like the blue because the blue kind of stands out and certain things may not be that important but if you're really studying a certain subject then then it's kind of nice so if i want to study prophecy in the holy spirit i'll grab that one apologetics i had apologetics bible that i gave to someone and um i know I'll, that's fine um but each each subject is is kind of cool within a study bible now the final study bible that i will show you is this one and i got this on such a great price now now it's selling for well here even then it, that was the price was at 49.99 and i got this actually at walmart for 18.99 like 15, 14 years ago and and this is a big archaeological bible study bible what is really cool about this one is is it has so many so many in pieces of information that that you would 
not really know unless you're really studying in this arena. So I like that it just has the evidence in it. Now, this one, what's interesting about this one here is that this is a reference Bible. Now, it's a study Bible, but also what I want to show you that makes this a little bit different I'm going to show you this first, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you, okay? So with this particular Bible here, notice here we have columns, okay? So when no, most of my Bibles, I think when I'm, when I'm teaching, they are all um, columns. All of them are columns. So why is this important? Well, this is just column, okay? No problem there. But then we have, in this format, this is... This is a paragraph format. Notice it's paragraphs, not columns. So the flow of reading is a little bit is a little bit more in depth because you're reading it across and not and not down in the way that you're reading a column. What I like about the the columns is that it's easy to find scripture. So when I'm teaching from, from a, a Bible that just has the columns, it's very easy to find the scripture. Here, when I'm looking for the scripture, you see that, that let me take this off. This is just the cover, but see it has the paper cover and then also everything's on the hard cover. This is a really nice, this Bible weighs a lot. It does not have the, the, uh, the binding, the um, tabs, but that's okay. Um, but one of the things that, that I find is that the scripture numbers are very, very tiny. So I, if I'm going to church and, and or listening to somebody preach, I would not have a, a paragraph format Bible because it would take me a lot longer to find the scripture. So the paragraph format is nice for a reference. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is that, yes, they call this a study Bible, but it's also a reference Bible. And what that means is that in the, in the margins, you have all the references to the additional references of that particular scripture which is kind of nice. So you get a lot, you can cross-reference this to this to this to this and, and build your own study system if you're reading on a particular subject. So when I study time and I'm reading something and it, then it gives me more scripture that I can just put in my, in my analog database that really helps me. Okay, so this, this is where I like this Okay, because it's easy and and it's nice for reading. It's it, it's more more um, of a flow and not as choppy as getting into this here. But yet I'm so accustomed to this that really neither one is a bother. Okay, now when you look at at these here, you you will see that that as as you're going through and seeing the references, that the references will be will be jumped together or put together and you can find whatever it is that you're looking for. What's interesting about this Bible, for all you Q people, 17Q, uh, thinking this, that, or the other, well, Q actually goes back to 1921 in Russia, but even long before that, you'll find it in here. And there's a whole article about Q in the archeological Bible, which was kind of interesting when people think it's a this or that or that up or this or that. Well, it's all outlined in here, which was kind of a, a fascinating thing. But I like this. I like this Bible when I want to know something that um, this is just an easy, easy place to to come to. It gives a list of articles, which is really cool. This gives a list of articles by the scripture. Okay, so you can start to see these are the articles by the scripture, but then also in alphabetical order. And let me see if it has the maps. I mean, the maps, yes, the, the maps are um, all included here. And then at the very end is where um, it has... It has all of the, the information here at the back. Many of these have, have them at the front that would have the author, so on and so forth. But then it also comes with the CD, which is really cool. Now, it's cool, but I haven't done anything with it. 
But, you know, for those that still have a computer and have a CD, well, that's pretty awesome. Or DVD, I'm going to, uh, it's interactive. So this was such a great, great, great buy for $18.99. Now, I will show you this that on the back, apparently it gives you, it gives you all of this that's, that's on the CD. So a study Bible really can help you just dive in. Now, this one here is an NIV. The others I have are King James. So um, I'm, I'm an equal opportunist. Just get a Bible, the one you're going to read. Now, this is, this. they call it a study, but it's still a reference Bible. Okay. Now, when we get to, let me see here, a, I've, st I've brought forth the, the um, study Bible and then the reference, the reference Bible. And this one here is a mix of, of both. So when you see this, you are a different format. So this one here has, again, the paragraph. This is a, a God study Bible. This is a New Living Translation. It, again, it, this is probably the biggest Bible that I have, like in comparison to, like, like this is kind of like if you ever buy the Harvest Right freezer, like this is the one you started with the medium and then and then here's your here's your extra large, you know. But but it has all of again your footnotes at the bottom with the paragraph format. So you can really dive in on the particular subject and just and just get your chair, your cup of cocoa, and just read and make sure you have plenty of pens. Now, the other thing about let me see which Bible I'm going to bring in next that will show you here. Let me see, this one is not, what is this? Oh, since I'm right here, I will show you this one. This one is a topical Bible. Now, this one is interesting because what they did with this particular Bible is that they outlined it by subject. So it's still all of the Bible, and it still has tabs, but it's all just subject, okay? So it's nice to have, it's different than a concordance, but it's just a, a, a topical Bible that, very small print. But one thing that I will show you with, that I want to get to is, and is this an, no, this, this one is a red letter. Let me see, I have one that has the, okay, not really. I'm looking for one that has the, There's a type of Bible that you can get that I will just go to this one and show you. None of these are really the fullness of it, but that is a wide, it's a wide margin. And the wide margin Bible gives you extra space all along the side where you can write your notes, okay? Now, what's nice about that is that you can then, you can then have all of your notes in one place. Well, when I started looking for a Bible like that, what I really wanted was this. I wanted a Bible that that I wouldn't have to write in, in a half, a half of one font, but I wanted enough space on the side. And what I actually found was this. I found a three ring, I found the printed Bible that you put it in three ring binders. And that was really cool because it was printed, it was double spaced, which gave me enough space to write so on and so forth. But then, but then it's like now I've got, I, I have 15 three ring binders that that makes it extremely challenging, but the, but the pages were all, were all justified where you have enough space. The other problem that, that I would run into in my ideal Bible is one that gives enough space, that's red letter, that has the margins, but that is not this thick. Like this, this particular, this, this well not this one, but this is, this one here, is 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 another big one but this but this is not this is not this this weighs this weighs um eight and a half pounds okay so this one is 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 big and and i just wouldn't want a thicker one to haul around all the time okay especially if you put a cover on it then now you just it's just too much. It's bulky, but for a home study, I like this, okay? So I want something that gives me the margins with the right size font that, that, that isn't a five to make it 
to make it a thin line that has everything I want, which is why, you know, I'm a woman. I, I like different things. I need options. I got options. And, and so that's just kind of how we roll. But the wide margins give you the space to write on the side. Now, the other types are the journal and the coloring Bibles, which, you know, I won't go back and forth. I've not bought one because each time I've gone in and seen them, I, I find them that, that the people that I know that have them get, they get a little fanatic about their coloring and look at this and look at this and it starts to detract from the word and and it's you know and I like to doodle however um that's not really my cup of tea but many like that and it's just a color bible it's a journal bible where you can just add all of the flow of all of those things to it which is perfectly fine for those that like that, okay? Not coming against it, like it, all good. I just don't, I, I would rather buy more of any of these than, than um, one of those because I just won't use it. Now, when we come to the large print and the text Bible, this fits both, okay? So we've got the columns, the smells, let me see the year of this. This is a uh, authorized King James, which nobody's ever said when the authorization ends. I've been asking that. Okay, so um, there's a few years, 1611. Okay, words of God are printed in red. Now, what I like, <laughs> Joe Biden sniffer. <laughs> you just can't, I just can't, you just can't. I mean, come on, but. But with a Bible that's printed and it's really old, it just, it, it's not new. It doesn't have the new car smell, but it has that paper smell. And so this paper, I'll show you this. So this paper, okay, you'll be able to see this. Like the paper on this is, is like your really, really thin white paper. Now compare that to this, okay? So this is a thicker, it's a thicker stock paper. It's a really nice paper, but it's not white, but it's a larger, it's a larger print, okay? This might be larger meaning like size 12 and not eight, but this is a text Bible, okay? So the text Bible has no reference, has no footnotes. This here is also text. So they're really the same Bible. This is King James. This is NIV. Um, I like both. I like both of these. This one's obviously bigger, but this one here, you've all seen this. This has been like my go-to for a long time because it's just, I, it just, it goes everywhere. It's, it, it folds. It's nice. It's like that cushy, good pair of jeans, or those are either cowboy boots, you know, where they just fit and, 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 you know, they, this is just, I like this, but this is not really the best Bible. I'm aware of that. But this one here is, again, the columns, and and it just has that, it just has the the nice smell of, of old that's not, like, old, just historical, I might, I might say, because old sounds kind of weird and creepy. But this one here, just that smell of the paper, I kind of, I kind of like. Now... Let's see here. When we get into the other types here, I'm going to get into um, some devotional Bibles here. Certain, oh, I want to get into this one here before I get to that. So this is a parallel Bible. Now, um, what that means, and this is by, this is um, a column style. Okay, so this, this one has the King James, the Amplified the New Living, and the Revised Standard. So this one, this parallel Bible, is, is great. You can read what the differences are in the scripture and not have to have 15 Bibles that you have to flip to each page in each one to read. Now, what's interesting, if you compare the NIV to the King James, is that there's only, there's only like, there's 16 verses that are different in the King James to the NIV, where, where it's like in Romans and, and, and it ends the scripture it, with the period and then starts verse two in, in the NIV. But in the King James, you'll see the comma and it continues. That was taken out of the NIV. But bottom line, still there's less than 1% 
difference of the entire Bible, and it's still the same Holy Spirit. Okay, so this is why I don't get so um, rigid when it comes to that, knowing it's still the same Holy Spirit, so I can read whatever Bible and know it's still going to feed me. Now, this just makes it very easy, so I don't need to have all of them all lined up. Okay, so I kind of like this with, with this format. It's easy, but yet this, um, I don't really use it as much as I thought that I would, but again, I like it. And, and this one, this one goes back to 1970, 1958, 1967, and the other one is 1946. I like the ones that are earlier, or especially because if you're going to buy an NIV study, which mine is, um, I didn't bring that one upstairs. It's a hardback blue and white. And that one, you want to get the, you want to get the ones before 1984, the 84, the 76, previous to that, because that's when they start changing and making the words not what they should be. Okay. So they keep, as society is dumbing down, uh, everything else is being dumbed down. And so we got to just get to the fullness and, and not buy some of these things. I don't have a messenger Bible for that reason, but this is, this is a parallel and and it's just not a large print but and it does not have it is not a red letter okay so it is not a red letter but it is a parallel bible that i use for reference on occasion now okay when we get to um this one here actually this was one of my favorite bibles for the one subject that i was studying and um and so this particular Bible, this is the Oxford Annotated, and it has the Apocrypha. This Bible, um, hardback, and still, you can see it's kind of just glued. It's not, the binding is not obviously not the best, but it came with the tabs, and it was $2. This Bible, I like, um, when I started studying some things about wisdom, this was like the Bible that I took to town. And I have all my notes here in this particular book. There's so much that in this particular book, I love, love, love reading this. But I only read like two books out of this one. Um, and then and then that was it. So everything is in this one book, which, which actually what I did to make life easier for me was I have my Hobonichi. And, and this is my daily planner. But what I did to, so I don't have to carry this around when I'm studying one book, I just wrote it out. Okay, so I wrote out Wisdom of Solomon and then I wrote out the book of, of uh, Proverbs. So this really solidified my, uh, my reading and, and praise God it fits right in my organizer. So when I'm out, if I'm ever waiting, I don't need to carry the, I don't need to carry this. I've just got this and I can still study. Now that might be overkill for some of you. Why didn't you just buy that one book? No, because I wanted it my own way and, and there's a lot to be gained by writing it out because then it comes into memory. Memory. So that worked out very well for me in this in this position here of that two dollars half price books. If you live in a state that has a half price books, go into the clearance section. You can always find Bibles in the clearance section. And I start collecting Bibles because I give them to people when I'm driving. See the people that they're in need. This will feed you. Now uh, before I get into you see here some of the other. Where's my other little baby one? Okay. Now, when we get to some of the, the devotional Bibles, now this one here is, is one you can obviously see that's, I mean, look, my, I don't, my Bibles get used. Okay. So this is, this is a chronological yearly, yearly Bible. Maybe I should have one that I start, you know, one a year, but what I do is I've got my notes that go directly on here and and i just i get right in it this is this is not sunday clothes where you only wear them to church and then never again i grew up like that you had you get play clothes and this no 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 no. the bible is it, it gets i've got stickies everything everywhere where it needs to be and and then i moved to this section because it made it a little bit easier but the chronological yearly bible just goes by by day okay and you just end up reading it Here's this, okay, January 1, 
and and then and then each day so you end up reading the bible in a year now for those of you that ever want to go and read the bible collectively all at once it will take about 56 hours for a frame of reference but this particular bible is is great it can get a little confusing when when you are looking at where where you are because what it also has is like not just you you might be reading one book and another book and another book um all at the same time because it's chronological which is cool it's similar to his story which i've got that as well and that's just the, the bible is a story but this one this one if you want to get disciplined and read the bible in a year this one is great no tabs just by the date now when we get into devotional bibles i have a couple that i will go over and then and then uh, um i'll just get to these so this this one here is the complete personalized promise bible for women what's interesting about this one is not it's not what i thought that it was that i was going to grab but this is all the promises of the bible when i bought this um I start praying that I'm in the covenant to receive the promises. That makes it a lot easier. But one Bible that I have that I bought many years ago. Now, I know that you can buy all of the cases, you know, the little nice carrying cases that come with the Bible. I have some of those, but I started to find that they were a little bit bulky. And so what I did, and I've had this, I've had this since two 2003 when I bought Joyce Meyer's um, Amplified Bible. I still, of course, you know, you know it's a good Bible when you got notes in there. Um, and and so what I did, I mean, this one here is a column Bible, um, has has the has the articles for for devotion in it. And what I did, I couldn't find a case that I liked, was I actually just bought one of those nice gift bags, a really thick one. And then remember in school, if you were alive in the 80s, where you had to take the, the, the paper bags and then wrap your books? Well, that's what I did. But I just took the one that had the handles, and then I just made my own. And this is the same one from 2020, 2003. And, and it's easy. It's slim no problems i like it and it still has all of the the original one on here so kind of simple and and it still works but this is one a study that's an amplified the only amplified i have now when we come to some of the other the other devotional bibles or subject bibles this one here is a warrior's bible that uh, for those in the military there's a lot of really good things here about this that fits for those men and women that are serving now what i like about this again is similar to what i like in my in my other in my other bible over here i like just how it it just i love this i just like that you can that it's that it's just so sturdy and stable um this one i obviously i don't i don't read this one every day i have not read through this one read through a few things here it has um some things some articles for the warrior that are kind of cool so if that's you this is a great bible I only I only paid the buck 29 okay so whenever i see someone that's in need i've got bibles and we also have a bible outreach program you can see that at julieblindministries.org under our missions and that's so i have a lot of bibles and give out a lot of bibles and and so this one is just really cool in in what it offers in terms of yes we've we've got red letters throughout this bible and for somebody that just wants that or needs that encouragement this is a really good bible for for that now same same line here um this here this is a hardback okay so we'll go with the fact that like this would be this this isn't lev i'm gonna this is not leather this is a thicker paper paper cover here but when we're looking at at this one here is synthetic but that it's easier to move where this here with the with the hardback it's the hardbacks typically will cost less than your leather okay so like um this this bible here this bad boy here this one is probably would be the most expensive bible based upon the quality <laughs> the quality of the leather versus this in a hardback okay obviously you can see two different types of bible but this one here the hardback um 
is easy and fine. What's funny is that I actually bought this for one of my prayer partners who came to visit me and then left and never took the Bible. This goes back to 2017. So Robin, I have your Bible. Now with with this, here's what's nice about, about the subject devotional Bibles is that it's on a sub specific subject matter throughout the word. Okay, so this gets into gardening and it ties the word in. And, and so when we look at this, the Garden of Eden, and then we can look and see growing and seeds and, and the harvest and all of these things that pertain to gardeners. So, and she's in, she's definitely a gardener and, and, and has that gifting. And so within this, these are great gifts. You can normally find these like $24.99 and, and less, especially if you shop where I shop. You can always find find a good deal, and and they're just great. I I've read through this. It is smaller font and the paragraph or the the column format, which is totally okay. Inspirational articles. Sometimes I find that these just get old. It's like okay, can we get something new? You know, but but that's just kind of where where I am. Not everyone else is is there, but it gives you the devotionals. Okay, so a devotional Bible is really is really really good for obviously for that. Now, this Bible here, same lines, this Bible, oh, I just, this, this Bible, this was just a Bible for a season that, um, this is a text Bible, no reference information, it's not a study Bible, but a devotional text Bible. I was in a really dark season, and this Bible just had so many, so many beautiful articles in it, and and it was just um, a season that every page I turned to, God had something for me in this word. And, and it was just, so it has, it has the articles and then it has a little tidbit here. And you'll start to see after a while that all the Bibles have all the same elements in it. But really where, where you start to see what is it really that you are looking for and what you are desiring. And, and so if you want a hardback, do you, do you want a leather? No, the price of leather is going to be going to, the real true leather going to cost a lot more than, than your soft covers or even the, the synthetic. Now, the final one that I will show you, and this is one that I absolutely love, love, love this. These, these are great. Now, this is, this is it's just the New Testament and the font obviously the smaller the Bible the smaller the font is going to be okay so this is like a thin line real thin the paper is I like the paper because it's 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 what's interesting is this the paper is is higher quality for the size of the Bible versus some of the other ones where the paper is too thin for the size of the Bible. So this is really awesome. I get these for like 50 cents. And what I love is I keep this also um, in one of my other bags, okay? So if I'm not taking everything else, I keep this. This is great for traveling because I can just toss it in. I've got the New Testament. I can read this through and, and, I, and it's red letter, which makes it even better. And I'm always feeding myself. I don't have, I don't take a lot of technology with me because I don't like it and it doesn't really serve me. But this is actually, it does serve me, but I don't like it because I don't want to be a master to it. So this, this works very, very well. These, these are great gifts, stocking stuffers, for those that are into that, easy, easy, easy. So when I saw this, this was, this was just easy enough. Now, the one Bible that I don't have that I do want is the 1560 Geneva. And that one right now is right around 650. And it comes with so many, it's a beautiful Bible. And that's the one that is on my list. I have a 16, uh, 1611 Geneva study. That's down, that's downstairs. I didn't grab that one in all of the mix of these, but, but, um, if I'm really going to be studying something, this was the final one I didn't get to. God's justice. And so, so if there's something specific that I need to study, it, it, uh, I can just go right in and dive in, find something quick and be on my way. The nice other thing about this particular one, as I'm seeing this, is that it gives at the end of each, of each book um, some questions for reflection. So 
I like this one because when I'm studying justice, it gives me a lot of things that I know then how I can pray and what to take to God to pray about and how to pray and God's justice. So when there's a season of injustice and a lot of things on the earth, oh, don't think I'm not going to pull this out and glean. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of fast tracking that can be done when I just want to see something and, and see it in a new way in the, in the word. This one here again is, is the paragraph format. So you'll start to see the pattern repeat. It's either going to be a column format, a paragraph format. They're all, after a while, all going to be pretty well um, the same. This one probably is the best. These two are probably going to be like the best quality of leather, binding, paper, just really, really, really solid, great Bibles. Um, the Lee Greenwood, I'd stay away from. I mean, it's a Bible, but save your money and and dive into, don't buy the hype, we just might say. Buy the Bible for the Bible, not the hype. Um, and so I hope that as you are diving in to see what Bible to get, you'll see that I use this one a lot. This one is, is just a uh, large print text Bible. I like this because, again, I, I like the feel it has. It has um, the, the maps at the back, great coloring on the maps. Um, but yes, you see that, that uh, we've got some of this, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. I've got my bookmark and, and this is like, this is like, come on, let's go. I gotcha. And, and here we are moving on. So with all of that, you can expect to pay anywhere from $5 for a gift Bible all the way up to, you know, 70, 80, $200. And another great place as I close out that you can, that you can go find Bibles. Um, there are less options on a lot of a lot of the sales sites that hate Christians. That's just the way it is. There's some that, that don't have as many as they once did. I notice in some of my stores locally that there are um, less Christian books as a whole, which is very indicative of where society's headed. But I will say this, a great, great, great place to find Bibles is Goodwill. Goodwill, you can always find Bibles and there's no tax on Bibles either. So I hope that, let me see if there's any other notes that I wanted to share with you. I wrote a lot of things down. Nope, I covered everything for you today. So I hope that this gives you a lot to work with, that whatever Bible you get, that you just get it and you just settle in. So what I want to know is what's your favorite, what's your favorite version? What, what was your first Bible? And what, uh, what, what are you looking for in a Bible? That's, that's really what, what I want to know. So I hope this has helped you. Have a fantastic day. You can visit us at julieblairministries.org. Learn everything more about what we're really doing in the ministry. We're looking for land, believing God actually for the land, for our training center. We got a Bible outreach program. So if you have Bibles that you're not using, the address there, you can send them to us. That would, that would be great. If you're in Dallas, we'll collect them and, and we will come and get them because we're always passing them out to people in need. And then also there is daily prayer. We do have daily prayer, which is at the one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And all you have to do is dial the number, hit the mute button, and we pray. You'll hear the shofar if you're the first one to dial in. And we pray. We pray a lot of things. We're praying for the peace of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, and as well as many other things that are occurring on the earth. So check us out at julieblowministries.org. And if you've not hit that partner button to partner with us, please do. There's a lot of content. There's a lot of stuff that, that God has for you that you don't want to miss out on. A lot of messages are, are delivered at various times and, and it's all for you. So if you haven't, please click that button. It does help us to be moving through these times and to get the gospel out as it is definitely needed. So if you have a prayer request, you can also post that in the comments below. Hope this has helped you. Look forward to your comments and I'll be back soon. God bless you, everybody. Bye-bye.